In this tutorial, I aim to elucidate the various types of resistors employed in almost all electrical and electronic circuits. Analogous to other circuit components, there are numerous types of resistors. We will examine what these are and how they are utilized. The unit of resistance is ohms, and it is represented by the letter R in the circuit. As shown here, resistors can be classified into three groups, fixed resistors, variable resistors, and dependent resistors. Variable and dependent resistors are also available in various versions. To ensure brevity, I will divide the explanation of resistor types into three videos. In this tutorial, we will explore fixed resistors. Let's inspect the shapes, symbols, characteristics, and their applications in the circuit. All the resistors depicted in the figure are fixed resistors. These resistors' values do not change due to environmental effects and are used to fix the circuit current at a specific value. The distinct structures of these resistors correspond to different current intensities required by the circuit. The materials employed in fixed resistors vary, and their values can be either printed or identified by their color codes. Two circuit symbols are used for fixed resistors, and both of these symbols may be encountered. To understand the fundamental role of resistors in a circuit, we can analyze the figure provided. A current is generated by the movement of electrons in an electrical circuit, and voltage is the force that moves these electrons to produce a current. Resistance reduces the flow of electrons, limiting the current. The relationship among the three variables can be represented by current equals voltage divided by resistance, or I equals V over R. This ratio between the three is known as Ohm's law, which can be illustrated as an electrical circuit. For instance, if we take the resistance value of 2.2 kilo ohms and the voltage value of 9 volt, the current would be approximately 4 milliamperes, according to Ohm's law. If the resistor's value increases, the current value decreases because resistance and current intensity are inversely proportional. Now let's examine how to use a fixed resistor circuit. We will learn the basic usage through a simple circuit example. Let's say we have a 9V voltage source, and we want to ensure that an LED is properly illuminated. If we connect the source directly to the LED, a high current will flow through the circuit, and the LED will burn out quickly. This is because for an LED to work correctly, the current flowing through it must be between 15 and 30 milliamperes. However, if we connect the LED to the source with a 330 ohms resistance, the LED will light up for a long time without any damage, as the current flowing through the circuit will be around 27 milliamperes. Suitable resistors should be used to adjust the current flowing through the circuit to prevent damage to the circuit elements used. If we want to use the same LED with a 12V voltage source, we should use a higher resistor, such as a 470 ohms resistor. In this case, a current of approximately 25 milliamperes will flow through the circuit, and the LED will remain illuminated for a long time without damage. In series circuits, the same current will flow through all circuit elements, and the current intensity flowing through the LED will not change even if the resistor is in a different location. Let's take a look at another example of how to use fixed resistors. We can connect a 100 ohms resistor to a power source, as shown here. Depending on the current flowing through this circuit, the lamp will emit a certain amount of light. 
When we connect the same power source to the lamp with a 330 ohms resistor, the brightness of the lamp is slightly reduced as less current will flow through the circuit. When we connect a higher resistor, such as a 470 ohms resistor, the current will reduce even further, resulting in a slightly dimmer lamp. As you can see, the resistance value determines the intensity of the current flowing through the circuit. If we increase the resistance value, the current flowing through the circuit will decrease, potentially not providing enough current for the lamp to light up. To achieve higher resistances, we can connect resistors in series because, in series connections, the equivalent resistance is equal to the total value of resistors. For instance, if we connect two resistors of 100 ohms and 470 ohms in series and measure the total resistance using a multimeter, we obtain a total value of 570 ohms. Of course, fixed resistors have a certain positive and negative tolerance value, so the actual value may be lower or higher. Conversely, if we need lower resistances, we can connect resistors in parallel because, in parallel connections, the equivalent resistance is equal to the sum of the inverse of resistors. For example, if we connect two 100 ohms resistors in parallel and measure the total resistance using a multimeter, we will see a total value of 50 ohms, which is the inverse of the sum of resistors. Nowadays, electronic circuits have become smaller, and consequently, the circuit elements used in these circuits are much smaller in size. Therefore, resistors used on these boards are surface mount devices, SMD, as shown here, which can be directly connected to the circuit board. SMD resistors are prevalent because they are lightweight, cheap, and small, allowing them to be placed in close proximity on the circuit board. Resistors are the most commonly used analog circuit element compatible with surface mount technology. The numbers and letters on the resistors indicate their resistance values. Sometimes, there may be resistors of the same value located close to one another on the electronic board. In such a case, an integrated resistor, as shown in the figure, can be used. An integrated resistor is made by placing many fixed resistors in a single integrated circuit. In the IC, each pin of all resistors is jointly connected and the other pins are free. For example, the integrated resistor shown here has five resistors with a value of 10 kilo ohms arranged side by side. In summary, we have learned that there are different types of resistors in electrical and electronic circuits, and we focused on fixed resistors in this lesson. We also learned about the basic role of resistors in circuits and how to use fixed resistors in a circuit. Understanding the concepts covered in this lesson is critical for designing and troubleshooting circuits.